Wes Kush back again. Say hi to people. Uh, so what we've got here, uh, I went ahead and shut some fans off because I shot this video once, so you guys missed out on a little bit of stuff. We've got, um, as I've been alluding to over the past couple of weeks, uh, a secret tea that I've been using. Uh, incredible company, incredible guys. Not ready to quite release just yet, but you guys will be hearing a lot more. Um, we've been using their tea uh, for veg, and uh, uh, we've got a flower tea too that we'll be using. Incredible stuff. Not your average everyday generic instant tea stuff, not your average uh, compost tea. This stuff is, is specifically designed for different stages of life and it's really, really amazing stuff, breakthrough stuff. So uh, they also have a pesticide that will be on the market uh, later on. Um, can't really talk too much about that. All natural uh, pesticide. Uh, and so we've been seeing a little bit of thrip damage. And so um, testing a lot of these products, getting stuff in from different stores, different people, different places, uh, we've kind of set on the fact that, that we're going to get bugs. And so um, that's why we've got this revolutionary, revolutionary new product from these guys, and we are going to apply it. We've done some already. Um, I was last talking about coverage, uh, making sure that you hit the stems, making sure you get the top side, the underside especially, and the topsoil. So we've got a gallon of water here. We went in with 15 mils um, of this new product. Has a really cool name. I can't say it yet though. And so we got it mixed up in here. Also, we're going to want to spray down uh, the area that they're growing in, um, and we're going to want to shut these lights off as soon as we're done spraying too, because some of these oils uh, can act as little magnifying glasses and amplify this light on the surface of the leaf and, and burn it physically. So. We're going to go through, we're going to hit the tops really good, I mean, open these plants up, get inside, especially underneath, I like to kind of just pull it back sideways and let these guys fall, we'll spin it, pull all these guys back, hit them underneath, kind of let them fall back down in layers, and then this top soil will we'll make sure it gets a good, a good hit. Um, Thrips are nasty. People get scared of them when they hear that uh, they may have thrips, but there's no reason to freak out. Pretty common. Um, I think thrips, uh, in the heat, thrips will hatch uh, in a few days usually. Uh, if it's cold, it can take them a couple weeks. Uh, but they're asexual insects. Of course, they don't need to mate, so it only takes one. That's why coverage is so important. You've got to get everything. You've got to hit every part of this plant. Saturate every part of this plant. I'll even hit the pots too. Um, but if you don't touch it with this stuff, uh, it only takes just that one that survives. So we're going to do this every three days. Um, in the near future, we're going to watch for uh, any damage on new growth. We're going to try to remove um, all of the damaged parts of this plant uh, that we see thrift damage on. We're going to take those leaves, we're going to bag them up, and we're going to get rid of them off the property. It may look like I'm really drenching this stuff, and I am. Saturation, uh, making sure that all surface area of the plant and topsoil is covered because these guys breed in your soil. Um, they love that nice, that nice ecosystem in there. They can just breed away and then the adults will climb up here to the top and start eating what looks like little pathways, little trails through your, uh, through your plant tissue. And it's not cool. So we're blasting these dudes. So yeah, I'll pull out the other ones in the back. Uh, we'll get those sprayed. Uh, and then we're going to mix up some of that secret tea by the same company. Uh, and try to get uh, this girl a little happier. We're not sure what's going on with her. It's the only one doing it. But uh, we've got some tricks up our sleeves to make her smile. So stay tuned. Wes Kush. The Bisco set up, but instead I worked hard. Look what that money got us. Used to walk on eggshells, but now it's sunny side up. What's up?